Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, my name is Alyssa and today I am going to have a really fun and different video for you guys. It is kind of random but I really wanted to put something out there for you guys. I have been missing in action the past few weeks. Um, I haven't been myself, you know, I needed some time. I have been going through it. <laughs> as much as I aspire to be a social media influencer, the reality is that we all go through it sometimes and you know what i kind of take full blame for it because i let made up stories get to me when i know the truth it's okay to let things get to you that's totally normal we're human you know right does not always win adulting sucks and you know what you're not gonna impress everyone not everyone's gonna like you but I think as long as you are being the best possible person you possibly can, right does not always win and you know what, sometimes you have to be the bigger person, just step back and let it go. <laughs> so yeah, um, I woke up today feeling like my spunky, girly, crazy self back to normal. So I'm ready to put something out there for you guys. I honestly recorded and edited two whole videos which was about three hours worth of film. <laughs> It was about three hours worth and I deleted both videos because I felt like it was not my best work. I felt like it was just super hard on myself and I was not my spunky self at that time. Now, today I'm going to be showing you some new things that I got. Um, I'm going to be trying new things, but here's the thing. I just got back from Barnes & Noble with my mom. This morning slash afternoon I was recording a video, this video, and when I got back to edit just now, the videos are gone. Literally, I used my new SD card, I don't know what I'm doing, the videos are gone. I know my camera died midway and I started recording on my phone so I have those videos to recover but still like I needed to make a whole new intro and this one is like 10 times worse than the other one but you know what such is life <laughs> let's get into it and by all means I'm not trying to brag whatsoever I'm just showing you random things that I've been using daily are new to me and unboxing some things and yeah, it's some was from Christmas, some I bought myself, so yeah, I'm not trying to brag by any means. I am just trying to have fun and put something out there for you guys. I know I love watching these types of videos, so maybe I'll get the same audience. And if you didn't know, photography is my hobby, so I do have a lot of new photography things and not everybody's into that, so I get it if you don't want to watch this, but I do have makeup also some other things let's get into it it is so funny i literally told everyone no makeup no makeup no makeup for christmas no 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 i have plenty and i can't even use it because we can't go anywhere but you know what it's secretly because i bought everything myself i'm going to start off with the maybelline bb cream i did film this earlier and i actually did film me putting it on but of course i lost that footage i'm pretty sure i will do another makeup video soon and i will definitely be using this because this is flawless and it's not even a foundation it is not a foundation i don't have any blemishes my skin is amazing lately um really clear so this just kind of evens everything out um it has a light coverage for sure it says it's just a sheer tint but i think it's a little more than a sheer tint it is so comfortable i really don't feel it at all and i only set the t-zone i did everything like i normally do with foundation but this you can literally wear this alone if you wanted to just do like your mascara and brows one day which i honestly might make that my new work makeup routine because it is so flawless next thing i wanted to talk about was the l'oreal paris telescopic mascara i almost forgot to mention this because i forgot i made an entire video about it almost and i deleted it so yeah i have been wearing this every single day i think this is one of the best mascaras i ever had it's so easy to use but i'm gonna be honest with you the hardest thing is to get the mascara back in the tube take it out it is a thin wand which you'd be like a little shocked about how amazing it actually is it like bends and it's like so difficult to get back in the tube 
Now, uh, that is definitely not a deal breaker for me. <laughs> but the next thing I wanted to talk about was this planner that my mom got me. She gets one every year for Christmas, but this one is so much better. Each month comes with a set of these that you can cut out, I guess, or you can leave it in there. And then each month has this. You have to fill in the numbers, not a deal breaker. Um, this is the to-do list. I actually, I'll show you my one for January. This is my to-do list. I cropped out one of these. Um, Shein video ideas, um, to-do list. And they also come with a tracker, so you can do anything like your mood, budget, food, anything like that. Another thing my mom got me for Christmas was this giant cactus notepad. I can't show you the pages inside because I use it for work purposes, but they are pink. It's just a standard notepad, but just having the cover like this will motivate me to keep organized. So the next thing I wanted to show you was the e.l.f. liquid glitter eyeshadows. I have only used this one so far. Let me tell you, these are incredible for like $3. Oh look, more makeup. <laughs> the MAC lipstick in Mullet Over. This is from their Powder Kiss line. I swear this is my new favorite. And my favorite for like years and years since 2015. So now that's going to be six years ago. Wow. This Velvet Teddy right here. This was my favorite for almost six years now. I can't even tell you how many of these I went through, but... This is now my current favorite. I don't know if it's because it's winter and I have more pale skin and it's a little darker. I'm not really sure, but I have been loving this and the formula. Oh my gosh. Okay, my boyfriend completely spoiled me this year. I got a Burberry jacket as well as a Burberry scarf. This scarf I wear pretty much every single day. It is so beautiful. I cannot wait to wear the jacket. It's a little too light for our weather here in New York right now, but I cannot wait to wear it. So the next thing is this Brevi camera bag my brother got me. It is a regular book bag, but it has this additional compartment here, plus all of these little Velcro inserts that I kind of shaped for my lenses. Like this one I can make a little tighter, but it is so perfect and they fit in here. They don't get banged around. I think this is really awesome if you have more than like two lenses. Okay, so this video is just all over the place, not well planned, but I did just want to share some things that I got. So, um, the next thing is this Canon EFS 24mm lens I got for my SLR camera. It is so awesome. I mean, it is compact. That is great. Um, it is perfect for landscape wide angle shots. I will insert some pictures that I had fun capturing and editing right here. Even though I have been MIA on YouTube, I have been going on a lot of nature walks and taking a lot of pictures. So for Christmas, I got a 128 gigabyte Santa's SD card as well as a it's an additional battery for my DSLR camera. This is so helpful, you have no idea. Just popping in here as I'm editing, I wanted to include that it is very important to have an additional battery when you are trying to make this a professional type of thing. You know what? Even if it's just your hobby, it is still important because your battery can die so easily. Different cameras have different battery lives, but still having more than one is definitely beneficial, especially if you are trying to take pictures for more than like three hours at a time because that's about all your battery is gonna last. And I really needed the SD card because I was running out of storage and when I take pictures, even if it's just like nature walks or anything, I take like almost 200 pictures each time. So I really needed a lot of room and also for vlogging, I kind of take it and put it in my Mark III camera. So yeah. Like I mentioned earlier, I just got back from Barnes & Noble. I picked up the Advanced Photography Guide. 
As you can see, I already went through the Canon and Beginner Photography Guide. I think that these are really good. I seem to absorb more information when I read things and also YouTube videos, but my eyes, they start to hurt after I look at the computer or the, my phone or the TV for too long. And so books are the best for that, <laughs> as well as unwinding before bed. And I also have a habit of using a ton of sticky notes through books, so yeah. Okay, so I'm going to end this video with the shirt that I'm wearing. My best friend Chris got this for me for Christmas. This is one of the things that he got me. It is just a flannel, pretty thick actually. This could be a nice fall and spring jacket. Right now, I am just wearing the shirt <laughs> um, and sweatpants. I, you can wear this with sweatpants, you can wear this with jeans, you can wear this with anything. And you can also keep it as outerwear, like I said. I ended with a clothing item just because my next video is going to be all about Shein, which is actually where he got this from. Another Shein video, of course. So yeah, let that be like a to be continued. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to follow my photography Instagram page. It is on public. I also follow back. No matter who you are, I follow you back. If you can show me some love and support on there, I would totally appreciate it. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, of course. Um, Sorry this video is kind of random. I really wanted to put something out there for you guys since I am feeling 100% better now. Okay, see you next time. Holy bad quality on my MacBook photo booth. And wow, I can't believe that this was like so popular just a few years ago. Oh my god, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I expand my audience to like more people because I do have different types of videos coming